Hello friends, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And uh, today we're talking about <laughs> you being the god of your conversation, the god of, of marketing. <laughs> Alright, actually, uh, we're not talking about you being the god of marketing, we're actually talking about the opposite, that you don't have to be the god of marketing. So if you saw my post this morning, we'll follow up with that in some more details here, but uh, for years I didn't feel valid. Um, in business, let alone marketing, right? Um, and, and actually, because of that, I didn't feel valid in business, so I didn't feel valid in marketing. And marketing is your um, is the conversation you're having with the world. So if you're not feeling valid in business, then it's very unlikely that you're showing up even to market uh, because you don't fe- you don't feel valid. You don't feel like you have enough answers. You don't have all the answers. Um, you don't feel like you have enough success or you've done enough yet. Your resume isn't good enough. And so this is um, this is the thing that plagues us until we can get to the other side. Now, the good news is you can get to the other side and it does happen quickly once you know where to look. Um, so let's see if I can't get you there in this conversation. So the shift, here's the... Um, so let's start with this, that marketing is a conversation, right? Marketing is not... Hey, I have all the answers and you should buy my thing. Okay, that's not what marketing is. Marketing is simply a conversation. Now, that that should take some of the pressure off. Let's keep going. In addition to marketing be a, being a conversation, um, the, the good news is you don't, to, to lead a conversation is not the same thing as having all the answers. Your job is to facilitate people looking at or having conversation about the thing that matters to you and them, okay? So if you are in the health space, um, you are facilitating a conversation about health. You don't have to have all the answers, but you, you're, you're leading people to look at the conversation of health, okay? So that's the good news uh, about, um, about this so far. So let's go a little bit further. Um, I think uh, here's what changed for me, and I'll, I'll give this to you. I think what has to happen for you to shift and turn a corner and switch a paradigm is that um, you are not the deliverer of information and answers. You are only a conduit for truth. That's the difference. So people uh, who don't feel valid feel like they're the ones that have to bear the weight of having the answer. When you get that, you only have to be connected to truth and share that truth with others. That takes all the pressure off of you having to have answers. You have truth, but truth is different than answers, right? Like answers have this connotation of like a definitive, um, this is right, that is wrong, right? Truth is simply sharing what I've seen. This is what I see. And truth has its own fingerprint. Have you noticed like people know when something's true? Like you say it and people are like, oh yeah, that's good. Like that is, that is true. And, and now watch this. It's, it's not, it's not for you, right? Like for you to be right and for them to recognize that it's quote unquote right isn't the point. The point is to have them look at an area in their lives, have no, no place in this type of conversation. This type of conversation, this type of marketing, marketing for the rest of us, is about you having people look at the areas of life where they're stuck and where they want to go and showing them a path, right? Doesn't mean you have to have mastered the path, it just means that you have insight about how to get from here to there. They, look, for the most part, they will solve their own problems. That's the other thing, like the ego, the ego wants to be the savior. The ego wants to be God of it all, right? The ego wants all the credit. And when you can let that go and just realize that what we're doing here is leading a conversation for people to look in their own life, to draw their own conclusions. And if they want to hire me to help them sort through all that, regardless of what industry you're in, right? Whatever it is that you sell, what service you sell, product you sell. 
people can hire you to go through that. And in fact, it's a high probability that when they connect with your message and your truth, that they'll want your perspective as they go. But don't be mistaken, they're always the one that has the answer. You don't have the answer, they have the answer. And only they can find their own answer. So this is how, this is, this is marketing for the rest of us, right? Like this is marketing in 2019, 2020 and beyond. Because we as souls, not as egos, but we as souls want to be respected for and trusted with finding our own answers. But we want guides, we want perspective to help us find it. But don't give me the answer. That We've been there and done that. So that takes all the pressure off of you because you don't have to have the answer. We don't want that from you. What we want is truth. Give me truth. What have you noticed that is true? Don't give me quotes. Don't give me cliches. Don't give me platitudes. Right? Don't give me cute little stories that have nothing to do with you and your own discoveries. You tell me what you've seen as true so that it can help me find my own answers. That, friends, that is marketing today. If you'd like to learn more about how to create this kind of marketing in your business, uh, you can go to groundswellmethod.com and start a free course today. It's only 90 plus minutes over five videos and you can start it and be done with it tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me for this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Until tomorrow, see ya.